At the foot of the mountains of Montana, Tyler Hamilton has forged a new life, far from the world of pro cycling. Well, good boy. And that has good meant coming boy. to terms with his past, how he doped, good. and how doping was everywhere in his sport, especially at the top with former teammate Lance Armstrong. We were fully delinquents, you know, if, if not criminals. If there was one product you could almost not do without, it was EPO. In his book, The Secret Race, Hamilton dishes details on Armstrong's U.S. Postal team, like how riders would receive the performance-enhancing drug EPO on the Tour de France from a delivery man hiding in the crowds. He spent about two and a half weeks on the road, um, kind of camping out most of the time and uh, staying, staying close by and just basically waiting for, waiting for, the, for the call or the text message. Hamilton said it was seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong who made sure the doping scheme was kept secret. This river is going this way. Don't try to swim upstream, you know. It's, you better be swimming the same way Lance Armstrong's swimming or if not, watch your back. It was the Omerta, you, the code of silence. You don't talk. You don't, you don't, you just don't go that way. You don't go, go there. If you do, your, your career is over. Though Armstrong has now confessed to being a drug cheat, he's never admitted to a role in other riders' doping. For Hamilton, coming clean now may be the only way to save cycling by clearing the path for the next generation. Yeah, after Big Tour de France champion is admitting to cheating, but it's, it's the truth, it's the reality, and um, I think the sport will gain a lot from it in the future. Hamilton's an outsider to pro cycling now, but when he looks back, his conscience is clean.